It's poppin', yo. It's your boy. It's the boy Wonder. He's the Wonder Boy. Or is it a Wonder Bread? Cause every slice of me is worth filling. It's fulfillment in itself. I am a fulfillment center. You can get everything that you want. But you are the customer and you choose what to buy. You can buy into my ideas. Okay, you can choose to walk in and walk out. Or you can just choose not to at all and not engage. Just like any convenience store or just like any warehouse, you can choose to order or walk in and grab and examine it yourself. The topic of the day, as I'm off of work, waiting on my ride, the topic of the day, is it truth or is it a lie? I think we all have an idea of um, what truth is and what a lie is. Sometimes it comes down to the definition of People ask, what is your truth? You have to tell your truth and you have to tell. People always have a definition of these things because my truth can be a nightmare for somebody else. You feel me? I think we have a dictionary that we all kind of agree on. When we don't know saying words, we go into. And at that time, we accept the definition of the word and that becomes our truth. We have a general basic of what the definition of words is and we've chosen a book as a collective group. And on Google, if you don't like the definition of a word, you can actually put it in yourself, edit it out and um, redefine it. If somebody don't like it, they can redefine it. Etc. Etc. So, what is the truth, and how do we define what truth is? Truth. Proof. Facts. What is a fact today can be different from tomorrow. Once upon a time, like I've said many times before, the world used to be a fact. It used to be a fact that the world was flat. That was based on the Catholic Christian religion. Until Galileo came around and said, no, that's wrong. And it took us a while to accept that as a collective truth. Oh, as a collective fact. It could change again. But right now, I think we should all, I think we accept that fact that it's a truth, right? So what's the difference between a fact and a truth? If facts changes, then it cannot be the truth. Because the truth is supposed to be cemented. It's concrete. Without a reason or a doubt, that is the truth. You feel me? We all know that trees grows, branches come out, and leaves form. Is that a truth? or do leaves form without branches. You feel me? It can get very, very complicated as we tend to pick and choose. Some say peel back the onion of what truth is and get to the core of the truth itself. So it is a fact that, there goes the fact again. It is a fact that some of our truths can be different from others' truth. When it comes to storylines, when it comes to personality and everything else like that. So shit get complicated. It do. Uh-uh. As you can see, the nostrils. So, um, what is your truth? You feel me? We all know the truth of the matter is if a stranger comes to you and smack you in your face, it's a fact and it's a truth that you're not going to like it. But if it's somebody that you know and they do that to you, maybe the same intensity on the spectrum of how hard it hits you, 
you might take it differently. You feel me? But we know that if a stranger comes to you and hits you in your face, you will not like it. So we know what we like and what we don't like. We know how to treat people and what we, we, we know these things. And yet, we tend to differentiate our truth. Do we hold our truth to ourselves and say, well, if I do it to somebody, it's okay. But if somebody do it to me, it's not okay. That would be a lie. Although, you although you're taking the truth and you're bending it into a lie, that's when the serpent come in from the Bible itself. If you don't believe in the Bible, we're just talking about the storyline of the Bible itself. As humans, our brain is wired by stories. So the stories that we tell ourselves is what wires our brain. It's been scientifically proven. And the science truth to you. And if science is not truth to you, then maybe religion is truth to you. So we have to find a common core where we can agree on what truth is. So the example of somebody hitting you and you not liking it, that's true for everybody else, unless you're a psychopath or something like that. Even psychopath will not even like that. The average person will not like that. <laughs> even if you hit a kid, the kid believes a kid would hit you and would not have no form of... Oh, shit. Hold on. Um, seven minutes, Pat. All right, I got to go.